Okay, this is Romero Brito activity four. Make sure you've done all the other three before you get this far. So if you've gotten to this point, you have all your drawings of the different shapes. And now I just want you to pick one, whatever one you like the best. So I'm gonna go with the apple, just because I've not done that one before. So I'm gonna do the apple. And you're gonna open your sketchbook to a nice clean piece of paper, okay? And you're gonna get your Sharpie or your black marker, whichever I sent over there. I don't know which ones I'm sending over yet, okay? And then you're going to draw your shape nice and big on your paper. So I'm going to do that here real quick. And I put my stem and my leaf on there. Okay. And I could just leave it like that. Or since I've kind of got a big hole over here, I could put another one. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to kind of overlap it. But notice, I'll show you something here in a minute. I didn't draw through my other apple. I don't know if that makes sense to you, so I'll show you my picture. Okay, so I didn't draw through my other apple. See how I planned that? I could, if I wasn't paying attention, I would have just drawn that right through it, but I don't want that line to show there, so I didn't do that. Okay, but I am going to have to draw through it now because I didn't plan well enough ahead of time, and I think I want to put a worm in here. Okay, that seems kind of Roberto, whatever his name is, Romero Brito style, doesn't it? Okay, so where do I want to put that worm? So I think I'm going to put it right here. Okay, so I put a little worm sticking out there on the side. Okay, so he's there. So now I've got this drawing done like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is divide the background in the chunks. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of start, see if I can do this, like right on the edge, I'm having trouble seeing what I'm doing here, and just go out. So I'm gonna start and just go out and divide this all up into shapes. I'm gonna do that real quick, show you what I did. Kind of like sun rays out from my apples. Okay, I went like that and divided it. Now, some of those are still pretty big, like some of these down here, those two. So I'm gonna divide those again. I'll show you if they just get a little bit too big. So I divided a few of those again. Okay, see how I did that? Okay, so then now I wanna put some extra things in my apples, but I don't, I want those to look different. I want those shapes to be different. So I'm going to, I'm gonna put a glow a beam mark in my apples. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. I'll show you that. A beam mark in my apples. Okay, and then I kind of want my divisions of my apples to follow the curve of what's going on here in my apple. So it looks like the shapes look a little different. Okay. I made the lines a little bit more curved. I didn't really make anything curved than I did in the background. So I want to divide those up differently than I divided up my background. I don't want, like, I don't want this line to come in and match with the line on the inside. Okay, I want it to stop at the apple and then that line to start somewhere else. So don't, when you go to divide this, don't go all the way through whatever your shape is in the front and the background at once. Do the background first and then divide up whatever you drew in the middle. So if you did baseballs or whatever, then divide those up last, okay? So this is what your drawing should look like. And then at this point, you're gonna start coloring. So you're gonna use your crayons, okay? Remember, hopefully we noticed in Romero Brito's style, he put patterns in a lot of things, not everything. A few things were empty, but 90% of them have a pattern in them. So plan out your pattern first, because if you color it all um, blue, with your crayon, it's really hard to put the pattern in afterwards. So put the pattern in first. So if you're gonna put polka dots in there, color in the polka dots first, and then color the blue around it. If you're gonna put hearts in it, put the hearts in first, and then color the color around it. Go back to the first video and look at some of the patterns Romero Britton used and try to replicate some of those if you want to. Okay, so you start coloring now. Um, I'm gonna color some next activity. Okay, I will color some. If you can take a picture of your project at this point, I would love for you to take a picture and attach it to this activity so I can see where you are. Okay, 
Good luck.